Hello students, so today we are going to learn about a uh, rate of reaction. So we need to learn how to look at the graph. Um, for example, the exam might give you a graph and they will ask you how to, what is this, what is that and so on. So this is actually a chapter, what is this chapter again? Chapter, chapter 4, rate of reaction. So basically, we can see from this graph, you can see that um, the rate of reaction where is fast, okay? So obviously, you can see that here, the reaction is fast, correct or not? Then as it moves here, it will become slower. Then suddenly, at here, we can see there is no more reaction. Okay, fast and no more reaction here. Of, of course, it should be go slower, but it's quite steep, uh, and that's why I don't say it's slow, because usually slow is like something like this. If I can write out, it will be something like this, slow reaction. This one. But this is slow. So here will be the slow reaction, but of course, the question didn't draw like that, so I, I don't want to just say a slow reaction. Okay, let's look at um, the question. So the question will ask, for calculate the average rate of reaction for the first minute. This is more like a max question. Okay, for one minute, we can see for one minute. So we need to calculate one minute got how many seconds? Hmm. 1 minute got 60 seconds, so 1 minute got 60 seconds, so you dot 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 So according to the formula, so we want to use the volume divided by the time. So the volume is 20 and the time is 60. So I just use 20 divided by 60, I get 0 0.33 cm3 as negative 1. The unit is very important. Because sometimes students say, I yeah, so easy, I do la. But because you didn't write the unit, two mark you get one mark. One mark you get 0 0.5 on zero mark. Because you didn't write the unit, it's a common mistake. How I know the unit? Well, how I know? Do here already write for you the unit? Can see or not? CM3 and S is the time. Sometimes here it will put gram. I don't know. It could be gram or maybe they want to put kg or meter cube, I don't know. This one could be hour, right? Second minute hour, yeah, that's one minute. So you don't put wrong the unit. How to know, look at the question. It is usually given in the question. So I know it's 0 0.33, this is the final answer. The second question B, for the first two minutes, easy. For the first two minutes, it's 30 divided by 120. I will get 0 0.25, follow back the unit CM3 as negative 1. Um, formula la, if you want to ask me negative 1 because it's per, la, per bahagi, bahagi dengan S, ya, so it's, jadi ne, S negative 1 lah, ha, boleh ya, ini, this math, la, if you don't understand, you ask uh, your math teacher, because if you don't get the unit wrong, right, it is a wrong answer. C, average rate of reaction in the second minute. What is the average reaction? So what is this, what, first thing we need to know, what does it mean by second minute? Second minute is 60 seconds to 120. Yes, from 60 to 120 is the second minute. First minute, second minute. So I'm going to cover the first minute. So 60 seconds, correct or not? Again, still the 60 seconds. Divided by um, 30 minus 20 because we only want to get this volume. Basically, is here divided by here. Okay, so, but actually, if you want to calculate mass here, is 61 seconds, right? Fair enough. Okay, so you get 0 0.17 cm3 as negative 1. Again, the unit I just copy from here and here. Question D, calculate the error reaction in the third minute. The same, what does it mean by third minute? Third minute is here. 
So 35 minus 20 divided by 180 minus 120, you get 0 0.68 cm3 negative s negative 1. Every reaction for the whole reaction means this whole thing divided by this whole thing. So 35 divided by 180, you get 0 0.19. So we can see that these are the rate, average rate of reaction. Um, so which one is faster? This is 0 0.33, 0 0.25, 0 0.17, 0 0.08, and 0 0.09. So the fastest will be at here. The first 60 minutes, the faster. Right, because more speed. Because in one second it will produce 0 0.33 cube cm cube of gas, and the slowest will be here, which is only in one second it will produce. Why am I highlighted? Erase the word. In one second it will produce 0 0.08. So you can see almost very slow. Here is very fast. Okay, here is very slow. Even the Answer show the uh, show the speed of the reaction. Some reaction is fast, some reaction is slow. Rate of reaction in a particular part of time instead of rate of reaction. Okay, so let's say I want to know the question asks, what is the rate of reaction in the 20 second? So 20 second is here. You need to first you need to draw a line. So of course you didn't draw a line, so let me draw a line for you. 20 second draw it will be a line up to here so I know it's this dot then you draw a line like that okay a gradient which I draw anyway lah, huh? you can draw up here you can draw short bit but it must be bigger a bit lah, huh? at least like I will say like this lah, huh? it will must half of the page at least half of or 33 percent of the graph paper because some students they like to draw very small. They like to draw like this. Oh, draw a triangle and calculate. This one you will get wrong. It must be at least big like this one. Any line lah. Huh? Then you use you find the gradient. Means this one 80, 50, is it 50? Yeah? 49, sorry. 49 minus 21 divided by this one which is around what is this 20 something lah 29 minus 9 so you do 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 you get 1.4 understand or not means you use this one x divided by y like the mathematics lah just find the gradient at the particular point this is called the tangent right the tangent of the line is fine Hope you can understand. Use x divided by y. In the experiment, excess green granule react with dilute hydrochloric acid. So now they want to do experiment. They use zinc. Zinc is a metal. They put inside the acid and see what is happen next. Of course, if you put in, there's a bubble going up, and this will produce hydrogen gas. But as you weigh and weigh and weigh, the, at first the, a lot of bubble, brrr, then suddenly the bubble getting less, then no more. No more reaction. First the reaction is fast, then it becomes slow, no more reaction. Why no more reaction? The example, the question asks, why no more reaction? Because all the reactant has been used up. The zinc granule has been used up. No more zinc. You want you put more zinc. No miss no. Already used. Like our, our car got petrol, we use our petrol means, petrol means our petrol reactant is ready used up. The volume of hydrogen of the gas release recorded at interval 40 seconds, the graph of volume of hydrogen gas plot. So we can see here, until here, probably I would say around this point, the reaction stop. Where is the reaction stop? Can you tell me, let's say the question asks, at what time the reaction um, stop. So I will say it's around here, this point. This point will be uh, around 160, 180, 80, what's this? 180 
180 something I don't look count lah, but it's somewhere around here lah, somewhere around here. So here is 180, around 186 lah, 87 or 86 something like that. The reaction will stop. For this reaction, calculate the rate of reaction in the 60 second. So again, the same one in the 60 second. So you just need to use 60 second. So you do the 60 second. It's not talking about the average. Ah. You, you must differentiate the question, whether the question is asking about average reaction, which average I will use um, this one, 30, somewhere around here, lah, 35 is it, divided by 16. That is the average rate of reaction. But the question is asking, calculate the rate of reaction. So only the particular point. So the particular point, I just 60, to, 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 step number one, I draw up. Step number two, there's a step number one. Step number two, I need to find the, just take your ruler and draw the, this line. This is the step number two. After you draw this line, get this length, and get this length, which actually y, um, 43 minus 23 divided by, uh, what is this, 100 minus 20, correct or not? So you do 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 for 3 minus 23 divided by 10, 100 divided by minus 20, you get 0 0.25. Remember to write the unit CM3. Here is CM3 and over X negative 1. Just use Y divided by X. You get what I mean or not? Hmm. Later we'll do more practice. I hope you get what I mean. If you, <coughs> if you don't understand, you can put down at the comment below. Um, okay, the next question, B, what is this B asking for? Calculate the rate of reaction in 120. Is it average? It's not talking about average, right? It's talking about the rate of reaction in 120 seconds. So the first step, 120, do, 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 I draw up, I draw a tangent. Sometimes students confuse, like, how to draw a tangent? Like, I want to draw like this, like this, or... You agak agak lah, huh? you agak agak. If like this, then you agak agak use the ruler to draw, okay? Draw and then you get, use the y divided by the x. Okay, so we know that the y is 47 minus 5, 47.5 minus 38.5, and for the y is, uh, what is it? 120 minus 80. So I just put here. 120 minus 80. Okay, so y divided by, sorry, y divided by x. So this is x. This x. Oops, let me erase this one. Let's write it properly. This is x. Y divided by X. So I will get blah 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 minus 38.5 divided by X which is 100 to minus 80. And you get the answer. It depends if you don't want to do this working. I think I think better you do lah. I think the working you can skip is this one. If you want to skip this working. If 3 mark mark correct or not. So you know in 3 mark sometimes it's this mark, 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark. Okay, uh, never mind, uh, you just put like that. Uh, because the textbook says so, we just follow the textbook, okay? Okay, let's look on the next question. Okay, so I stop until here for the next question I will do in the next video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.